Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a, um, a vehicle mod and do Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PC. The mods are not for Xbox or PS3. Wish they were though, but they're not. My last tutorial video was a uh, little crappy quality and uh, people couldn't really read. Got a couple complaints and I just wanted to make sure that it was clear for everybody. So we're going to go through the installation. Um right now first thing we're gonna do is um, now if you have downloaded this game off steam one problem you're gonna run into when installing the mods is that you can't get ELS to work okay I have another video on how to install ELS so basically to prevent any problems from the mods if you in installed this game through steam um then what I want you to do is to do this right now. If you have not installed this game through Steam, then skip into the video. I will put what time it is that I want you to skip into the video. Okay? So if you have bought the game off a of CD, skip. If you have bought the game off Steam, pay attention. <coughs> this is for the Steam users only right here. You're going to go into your um, directory and you're going to find Steam. Steam apps. Now I'm at the GTA 4 directory through Steam. You're going to want to copy all these files in here. Copy them. Click and click all that. Now you're going to go back to your directory. Okay. Now, program files. Now in here, you won't have this folder right here, Rockstar Games. What you're going to want to do is you're going to right click. You're going to want to click New Folder. And you're going to want to type out this exactly. Okay. You're going to open this folder up. You won't have this. I want you to do the exact same thing. New folder. You're going to type out Grand Theft Auto 4. Now in here, it's going to be empty for you guys because you guys have just created this folder. You're going to right click. You're going to click paste. Now you're going to paste all the files from your Steam directory, GTA 4, into here. But do not remove the files out of your Steam directory. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? You want the files in both directories. Okay, and for your mods, you will be installing them through this folder. The other, the only reason why the Steam folder is there, basically, is to show you that, yes, you bought the game through a legitimate site, and you're not just downloading it. <clears throat> so, now what you want to do is, once you have this directory, um, it'll have all your basic installation. If you have just installed the game, it'll be just your basic files. So... You're gonna need one uh, one program here to install car mods. Now, if you have the latest version of GTA 4, which you should, unless you're uh, into the graphics more, then you might have downgraded the 1.4.0. But if not, you're gonna want to type in that um, Spark 4, Spark IV, 1.0.7.0. Um, you're gonna come to this site. You're gonna click here to download this file. Download GTA 4 Spark 4. You're going to click download. Now you can wait for this or you can click click here. You're going to click open. You can exit out of this and this is going to come up. Okay, now that you have that, what you're going to do is you're going to be in your new directory that you've just created. You're going to copy all these files. Just click them and drop them right into your directory. Okay, so here they are. They're already in my directory. Okay, Spark 4. It's the same thing as this right here. Okay, all the all these files are in my directory. Now that we have that, <coughs> and if you are installing a police vehicle, you're gonna want to download ELS. I've been made another tutorial on how to download ELS. But if you're installing a regular vehicle, you do not need ELS. Okay, so now we're going to download a um, vehicle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to download a police vehicle. Okay.
all these vehicles kind of suck a fat chode. So let's go here. That one's kind of nice. Mm, okay, we're going to download this one. So, once you find a police car that you like, you're going to click open. And then you're just going to want to extract the file. Or, extract really means just to move it to your whatever. You know what I mean? Just drag it out of the folder that you've downloaded it from. Okay, you're going to open it up. Now, here should be some pictures of it. Okay, it's a pretty nice vehicle. I like it. And um, so then you get, you know, sometimes you get to decide. You want the door side trims on, off. You get a little extra, sh you know what I mean? Shebang. Okay, but I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to click it. You're going to want just the files. The, uh... WTD file and the WFT. Now, if you're um, if it says like Dodge Charger or something, just because that was a Dodge Charger, if it says that for the name, it says Dodge Charger WTD. You're gonna want to right click it, hit rename, and then you're gonna want to type in News or Police or Police Two, whatever, whatever um, vehicle you're replacing in Spark Four in the game. So now that you have that on your desktop, ready to go, you're going to right click Spark 4, run as administrator. You're going to pull this up, you're going to click browse. Wait for it to load, mine does take a surprisingly long time. Long time to load. So you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, click models, CD images. Here's your vehicles. Okay. Same thing with installing weapons, okay. Except that you would just click weapons. So we're going to install a vehicle. Edit. Now, you're going to click import. You're going to click your, you know, where we, we have it on our desktop. I'm going to click the noose. And the noose. Open. Now, if you want to check, make sure it's in there. Um, it should be highlighted in blue. You can rebuild the file or you can save it. But after you rebuild it, you're going to click save. It doesn't really matter. Saving it just makes the file bigger for some reason. I don't know why. Rebuilding it, I don't know. If it just I don't know, minimizes it to the smallest amount of space it could possibly take up. I just save it because it always seems to work when I save. But it does work when rebuild. Sometimes textures don't go in though. Sometimes I don't know. But uh, just just click save to be um, safe. Rebuild and then save. Either or, either or. So now we're done with that. The, the mod is installed. So we're going to exit this. You can take these files and throw them right in your trash can. Now let's go see what it looks like. And here the vehicle is in my game. It's looking pretty sexy. Pretty nice vehicle. I like it. 